welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, it seems like, you know, you're very victorious in uh, whatever situation you've been going through. Now, I'm going to go through it a little differently because uh, the Justice card has come in the past of years. So you might have had a legal situation uh, that you were dealing with, some kind of legal judgment, and it looks like you are very victorious in it. So it looks like that decision went in your favor. And it seems like you had some kind of intuition about it, some kind of knowing about what was going on. Maybe somebody told you it was going to happen and it was going to go in your favor. But it definitely seems like um, you, you, you seem to have had some kind of insight or some kind of um, revelation about that particular decision. And it looks like, you know, it's gone in your favor. You have been uh, taking uh, charge of your life again, taking control again. You've got this depth of feeling card of here, and you can see this person is very determined to move forward. So you are now taking control. After this victory, it seems like, you know, things are now starting to move forward for you, and you are determined to move away from the past. You're also changing the way you look at things. There's a card of renewal over here. So you are coming out of that dark phase that you were in, and you are moving forward. You are transforming yourself. So whatever relationship you were in looks like it was very, very toxic, very, very controlling, very, very manipulative. And now you are overcoming that kind of uh, situation. And you are now coming into your own abundance is coming your way and things are going to start looking up for you. You've got the summer fruits over here. So you might have to wait a little while, a little bit of divine timing over there, but uh, things are going to definitely go your way and abundance coming into you. You might have had, uh, you know, whatever this judgment was, you might and you've got victory, you might get a little bit of a payoff as well. So maybe some money as well coming in for you, some sort of settlement as well coming in for you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the Vice First Tarot. And I've got it in the description box, so have a look. It's a double-sided deck, a very pretty deck as well. So let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got three of rods over here. So this is taking charge of the situation, moving forward and actually making plans for the future as well. So this is about rods and this is your, um, you know, rods deals with the fire signs. So you're definitely leaving the past behind. You can see he's left these two rods behind. And after going through a lot of battles, he's got a plan in hand and he's now going to be moving forward. And you're reaching a kind of a balance, a kind of a healing that is going on as well. So there's a lot of red over here. So being very proactive about what you're doing and taking control, you've got the rod in your hand over there and you're moving away from something that was what you considered to be very stable uh, whatever um, situation you were in what, that you considered to be very stable or that you would have been in a long time you seem to be making your mind and moving away from it and leaving that past behind leaving things that are no long, longer serving you making a plan um, you know and moving forward so it seems like you are finally moving on um, you've got this uh, four of rods over here, and this is also, you know, you can see every, this person's back is turned. So there's a lot of backs that are turned in this particular reading. You can see that, you know, maybe this uh, relationship uh, used to be something that was very stable and that made you happy, but it became a burden. And it seems like the, there was a loss of emotions. It gave you a headache. You can see this person's wearing some kind of bandage on their head over there while they're carrying uh, this particular, uh, a whole batch of uh, stone, uh, oh, sorry, rods over here, or, or um, logs really. So initially that relationship started off being something really wonderful. You got along very well, you set up home, you're, maybe you all lived together and you were very, very abundant. But, you know, it seems like that relationship lost all the feeling for it because there's a statue here. It seems like there was no more emotions left in that relationship. It became a burden and it seems like you were the person that was carrying all the responsibilities within that relationship. And it looks like, you know, you're trying, you were trying to keep things up and running and, you know, it, it just, it was something that, um, you know, as I said, gave you a headache. It was something that, uh, you know, messed with your mind, really. So it, it was not a give-and-take relationship. It seems like it, it became a one-sided relationship. 
So in the past here as well, this person was very, very manipulative. You used all your strength to deal with them. They're almost like the devil controlling everything for you. So you were trying to, to, to must have all the courage to fight them, but they were very manipulative, very controlling. And, uh, you know, they, they um, basically uh, told you what to do and how to do it. So it seems like, you know, it was a very manipulative, very toxic relationship, a very codependent relationship. Um, and it seems like, uh, you know, you seem to have turned your back on that relationship and maybe something new has presented itself. So maybe this is the reason why you have left this relationship because it's no longer serving you. And maybe there has become, there's been an offer from somebody else, uh, that has come in that has made you see the light. And this has happened in the last month. So you're definitely planning on turning yourself, uh, uh away from, uh, walking away from this old relationship. This is on your mind. You know, this, there was a lot of arguments, fighting, deception. Uh, it looks like you've t decided to turn your back and walk away from this person because they were very manipulative and very very controlling you also you've got this knight of um, cups over here so this is actually uh, you know walking away from it uh, turning your back to that situation so you can see you're even turning your back because this is a uh, knight of rods a knight of cups is immediately after next to this card so it looks like you're turning your back on all that responsibilities and that relationship seems to be dead in the water and you're not really willing to go for it you're walking away from it so uh it looks like maybe somebody else is coming in with an offer for you but you are definitely walking away from an old relationship you know, you're taking your cup, you're taking your emotions, you've turned your back on this, and you're taking your um, your love, and you're going somewhere else. Like I said, like you can see, this woman's back is turned uh, to the present, and she's now going to be considering another relationship. So it looks like there's some kind of new offer that has come in for you. Uh, this might in itself be a new offer that has come in for you that you're considering right now, and you're taking your emotions and going off. So maybe you're going uh, to start a new relationship with somebody else. So even here, you've got the magician over here. So you're going to be working on or, or you're going to be putting your efforts or energies on working on a new relationship. And here again, the back is turned. So that means that whatever this relationship is, you have decided to end it. And you're going to focus your efforts and your energy and your um, manifestation skills on something else. You can see this cup is in front of this magician here. So it looks like whatever this new relationship is, you have decided that you're going to concentrate on that rather than um, and turn your back on the old relationship uh, and uh, you know walk away from this person that you were dealing with because they were so manipulative. Here again, you have got the back turned over here with this Knight of Swords. So uh, you know there might have been some kind of legal... Um, uh, conclusion to this relationship the knight of swords is always about legal decisions that are made uh, so there looks like there was a legal conclusion and you are walking away from that situation as well so the 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 judgment has been passed you receive the news it seems like you've taken that decision and walking away so everything is pointing to the fact that you have ended you have turned your back and every single card in the spread so far is about backs being turned away from things that are not serving you so you're definitely walking away from things now, what you want to come in is this new relationship and you want to make an offer to somebody else. So you want to take your cup and give it to somebody else. So it looks like there might be some kind of proposal that is coming in for you and you are willing to consider that uh, new relationship. You might be feeling a little down as well because the Queen of Cups tends to be a bit emotional. So you might be feeling a bit depressed, uh, and but you're trying to get over that as well. And here again, you've got the King of Pentacles over here. The back is being turned and you are also focusing now on uh, finances and uh, you know your career so you are turning your back completely on this relationship maybe you have completely cut off ties with this person uh, and you are now going to be focusing on yourself and and um, you know working on your own um, um, you know um, abundance and you do feel as though this person you know maybe this person is still trying uh, to um, you know, get your attention. You can see this devil's waving over there. So they're trying to get your attention in some kind of way, trying to still manipulate you, trying to still control you, trying to still have that last say, if you like. Uh, it doesn't seem like you are listening to any of that anyway. And you're standing up for yourself over here. You've got the seven of swords over here. You're defending yourself. And it doesn't seem like you're going to be listening to this person at all. Um, you have taken a stand. Uh, and it seems like, you know, if they um, come, uh, they... they Whatever, um, you know, they, they bring, whatever obstacles they bring, you are willing to fight it. And it looks like you're going to be a winner because you can see this man is above these rods over here. So whatever problems they bring, whatever um, 
difficulties they they uh, they uh, present to you, it looks like you're going to be able to defend yourself and you're going to rise up above them. So you have taken a stand. You are, it doesn't look like you want to be manipulated anymore. It seems like they're making a last-ditch attempt to try and get your attention, but you're not listening to anything. You are standing up to them. So you're finally taking a stand, standing up for yourself, getting your, your power back in your hand, and you have turned your back on everything. Uh, so any kind of communication, any kind of proposal, even any kind of apology, you're not listening to anything. You're moving away from it. You have had enough. <laughs> very, very well done. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the Archangel Power Tarot. Let's see what they've got to say here. So you've got the four of Gabriel, which says time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdens and situations. So whatever that relationship is, you are now releasing it and you are letting it go. You've got the 10 of uh, Gabriel here, which says ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load working too many hours, trying too hard to please other people. So it seems like you're not going to be pleasing this person anymore. You are letting go of that cycle. You've got the 10 off Gabriel over here and the 10 off Rods over here. So, you know, whatever this was, was a very burdensome situation. It looks like you're turning your back on it. It says, ask for help. Uh, if you do need to have it and, um, you know, try not to overwork and try not to be overburdened because this in itself can cause illness, stress-related illnesses. It can make you anxious, uh, you know, and you need to have some time for yourself. And then you've got the nine of Michael over here, which says worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire and release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So it's time for you to not be anxious anymore. It looks like power is coming back in your ha hands. Make sure you are standing up for yourself, defending yourself, and it looks like you know you are willing, you are now ready to move on. Because all these cards are about moving on into something brand new. And you're getting your power back. You're taking control. And it looks like there might be, you know, there is that offer that is coming in for you over here. So it looks like you are now deciding to make a decided effort, focusing your, your energies on the future rather than living in the past, which is a really great place to be. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.